What do y'all think of my Yeezys? Hey, so we've been commissioned to make a uh, Perry Lure, but big, for Pike and stuff. Very big Perry Lure. So I've been working on this big old boy, but I did not like the way it looked and neither did the uh, client. So slightly smaller Perry bait. And this one just looks better in general, I think. So we're going to put a joint on this. I've already been on the belt sander. We're going to put a joint down the middle. We're going to test how it works. He wants a top water parry and a, a uh, sinking parry. So we'll just see how this one turns out. I have a big chunk of balsa in case we need that. But this is what we're starting with. I think this might be the diving one since it's pine, you know. It's also made out of two pieces of wood that have been epoxied together and then sanded. It's, it's basically one piece. It's indestructible. That's better. So I got this bad boy for Christmas. It's a belt sander. I know it's it's all uh, caked up. I gotta get one of those sticks that helps clean this thing off. So that way I get more uses out of this belt. But as I was saying, I got this belt sander for Christmas and this bad boy eats wood like a beast. I whipped out this thing and the slightly bigger Perry Lure in like under half an hour for both of them. It would just sit here. And then it was bam, Perry Lure. Now this one looks kind of funky because it's too thick. So I'll just keep that for my own like, I don't know. I'll just put it on the shelf. It's like a door stopper or something. But this one, actual Perry Lure for catching pike. This one's going to be awesome. It's not done yet. I'm going to go buy with some finer sandpaper and do it by hand. And then we'll drill eye sockets. I got those big dead meat custom eyes I got a couple videos ago. Put on this. And then I, there's a couple techniques I want to try out with this, like, dragon fight glaze. Kind of color translucent stuff. And I also got something really cool. Let me show it to you. Yeah, so I got some Illumilite for Christmas. So this should help make the baits indestructible and make this Perry Lure that we're making right now make it good for pike so that way the pike don't tear it up because the epoxy crap I was using before sucked. It, it was terrible. But now we got this, so it'll be good. Oh, the hinge is falling out. Oops. I haven't glued those in yet, but I did do the hinges. It is ready. Cut the hinge on this thing right here. Sanded it just a little bit more. Uh, I think we're going to drill the eye socket next. Actually, no, before we drill the eye socket, I'm going to seal the wood. So there's no real need to seal the wood, especially when you're using the Illuminati UV at the very end. But I want to seal it to test it. So before I drill the eyes, I'm just going to lightly glue those in with some weak super glue. I have some weaker super glue to put that in there. And then I'm going to go outside and test this because I want to see... Like how well it swims when it's scaled up this large. Because with the smaller with the smaller uh, one, uh, you can kind of see it in the video of me fishing with it. But the tail, the tail floats while it goes. And then the head sinks. There's no lead in this, but I just want to see how it swims first before it's to go and add in lead. Because if it floats, I might make it top water. But if it sinks, then I'm going to make it a diving one like this little one right here. And it's going to be the same color scheme. Of uh, teal in the middle, orange on the tail, orange on the tail, and a chair that blew in from a storm somehow. And you can see it like pool liner, pool, and the liner fell in and it's full of water and there's the leaves. So, anyways, that doesn't matter. What all that matters is look how big this thing is. This thing is massive on the, the pole, it is huge. And moment of truth, just see how bit good it swims. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm about to put lead in this, aren't I? It's a jet ski. <laughs> yep, I have to put lead in it. Even if it's top water, I gotta put lead in this. All right. See, now I'm being responsible and melting lead outside. Like smart person. to Lumalite UV these bad boys. I've re unbubbled this thing. Just try not to ruin the three days hard work I put into this lure. 
let's just hope it turns out well. That is the plan. Um, I'm gonna get a second plate. I'll be right back. I got a second plate. So I'm gonna take this glitter to add some extra like shine to this lure. It's not gonna be very shiny unless I add this. So the plan, I'm just gonna spread this out. The plan is to dip this in the Moonlight UV, then take it over here, take the brush, get a little bit of glitter on the blue parts, and then that'll be shiny and stuff. Try not to get it on the eyes. Oh, if these eyes fall off while it's drying, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, what else is there to do? There's not a whole lot, but I want my fishing forceps. I'll be right back. Can we get a pog in the comments? I got these little forceps, fisherman's forceps. Five bucks for a two pack at uh, Academy. That is literally a steal. So we're just gonna dip this in here and hope it looks good. Holy cow, it's so shiny. Look at this, wait. I don't, I don't know if you can see how shiny it is, but holy cow, it looks plastic. See, it looks beautiful. Look how like plasticky it looks. It looks awesome. I don't even know if I want to add the glitter. Like, it looks just so smooth and clean. All right now, I'm just letting it drip and I'll clean it up a bit and then we'll let it drip for about 15 minutes maybe or so. But holy cow, look how like glassy it is. That is beautiful. Wow, this guy's gonna be stoked. I am, I'm already excited for him. This is a good looking lure. Don't, don't, don't uh, look at all my crap, but look at the lure. So now I'm just applying glitter to all the blue parts. Trying to make it look random, but also not getting any clumps. Sorry, I've been in the zone. Wasn't really talking for a while, just kind of quietly putting on all this glitter. Hoping everything goes right. I say as I stick my arm in front of the camera so you can't see squat. <laughs> Dude, I'm kind of in love with this lure. I don't even know if I want to sell it. <laughs> I mean, obviously I still, I'm gonna sell it, but you know, might just have to make a second one for myself. Maybe a different color scheme, just for fun, mix it up. Maybe like black, yellow, and red, something cool like that. What do y'all think? Finished Perry Lure, got the hooks on. Looking good. Nice and shiny. The glitter is going to give us some shine and action in the water, too. It's got capabilities of being top, uh, a diver and a top water. Top water makes it uh, kind of got this swimming action like that, and then the bottom one's got a diving action where it does this. Sorry. Does that. Pretty cool. About ready to ship off. A couple imperfections in the clear coat, just due to inexperience of me not knowing how to use. Ow, oh, there's a hook in my finger. Ow! Oh. As I was saying, a couple uh, little bumps in the uh, clear coat just because I didn't know, like, first time using that. I'm gonna have to build a spinner thing, like a rotisserie spinner. But yeah, I'm gonna compensate the dude. I'm gonna send him a free few lures in his package just to make up for that. Hopefully, the muskie are all over this. Never seen anything like this before. It's gonna be awesome. So this video didn't show as much of the bait making process as I would have hoped for, but um, that's because I had to get this lure done for this guy quick and you know, like fast and in time. So in future videos, there'll be more of that. Or if you want a lure, hit me up, I'll make you one. Thanks for watching, see you guys, bye.